Hey everyone, welcome back to this Fishing Planet Guide. I'm Game with Captain Gravy, and today we're going to be covering the Everglades. So first of all, first and foremost, I'm going to try and keep this quick and concise and to the point. So it would be logical to start out with the most hunted after species on this waterway, which is the bass. We have peacock bass and largemouth bass, and we're going to be starting at the Infinity Tunnels. So if you spawn in there, you'll load in on this dock. And I'm using a three foot crankbait. Uh, I found it works best right here. And what you want to do is you want to have a pretty balanced setup and you just want to cast right out here, right to the right. Yep, right to the right of this area right here. So just throw it. You can use basically anything that's pretty top water. Three foot crankbait, poppers, frogs, and all that other stuff work well too. So just gonna reel in one speed and just slightly bring it over the side right in front of those. You will get snags because there are quite a few snags in there. Just keep a slow retrieve going. Like I said, poppers, frogs will also work just as well. But I found the three foot crankbait is easy. And there we go, there's our fish on, first one. Fairly quick and simple. You'll get action all day long if you just use that method. You can pretty much cast anywhere around here in the infinity tunnels, but I found that that spot works the best. I don't know what it is, the bass just love hanging out right in front of that area. Now more often than not, you will get butterfly peacock bass. Now this setup is a bit overkill. You will get negative experience values, but as long as you balance it out, I would suggest 8 pound line. That's usually more than enough to wrangle in even the trophy grades. If you get a unique largemouth on the line, you will have problems though, so it's really up to what you prefer. It's as long as it can throw the crankbait out far enough just to reach right to the right. Just to the right of it. So slow retrieve, one speed, and you'll be catching them right and left all day long, pretty much all day. You will get largemouth snuck in there, but it will be peacocks mainly. Which aren't that bad. Peacocks and largemouth are fairly equal in how hard they fight. Of course, the largemouth will be getting much larger than the unique peacocks. Unique largemouths will. Sometimes you don't catch them right away. Fishing always takes patience. They might not bite the first. And it might be fairly inconsistent. So we're going to cast out one more time. Terrible cast. What on earth? Anyway, we're just going to aim right to the side of there. can even try to come over to this side a little bit. And Florida is probably one of the most loved waterways of all fishing planet. There's just so much action that goes on bass pretty much all day long. Good way to stockpile money early. This is really one of the first crack cash grab lakes right here for the player. So you can make just boatloads of cash. 
by fishing here. Not to undermine Oregon, but this place I think is better in my opinion. So that was the peacock and largemouth bass. Like I said, more peacocks than largemouth, but largemouth do do live here. So now we're gonna move on to the salty delta. All right, so we're over here at the salty delta right now, and in order to catch the red drum and the common snook. First of all, we'll start out with the common snook. Well, actually, the red drum. You will need a medium spoon. I suggest a minimum of 15 pound gear. Minimum of 15 pound gear. Uh, you'll need a minimum spoon or a medium spoon. Uh, I suggest a 6 dot hook, personally. But you could use a 4 dot hook. This one right here looks good. And basically what you want to do is throw anywhere in this area right here. Do whatever kind of retrieve you want to do. And for the snook, I would suggest anywhere from 6 foot crankbait to 23 or 16 or something like that. I would probably preferably go a 6 foot to 16 foot right there. Um, you could go deeper if you wanted to, but that's just what I've had success with. So that's it for right now it does take a bit of patience compared to the bass these guys bite quite a bit slower anyway for red drum just cast anywhere right in between here and with snook the same way only with a crankbait so I hope you guys enjoyed that guide didn't manage to catch a uh, snook or a red drum for you but you just gotta know they're out there and at time of day and peak fishing hours also affect that but the bass will bite basically all day long so it's a really good cache area basically the first big bucks area where you will be making lots of money to fuel your next trips and stuff like that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you found it easy to follow and tell me what you want to see next in the comments share rate subscribe and I'll catch you next time Thanks for watching.